man. Anyway, so J Jack, I almost said Jacob. Jack is driving through the desert, right? And his car breaks down. Jacob, we can, you can say it's Jacob. You can imagine it as Jacob in your head if you want. Okay. Stop, peasants! Wait, does it make it better if you picture Jacob? Or is it <laughs> Jacob Asherbrenner's car breaks down in the middle of the desert. And he's like, oh, this isn't good. He tries to get his phone working so he can use GPS to at least figure out where he is, but he has no reception. So, he goes out into the desert. He thinks he's pretty close to a small town. He can't really be sure. He takes some supplies. He takes some, uh, some of his car's windshield wiper fluid, just in case. He doesn't have any water with him. But he figures maybe if he gets too dehydrated, he can swish it around in his mouth or something and make it feel better. So, he's walking through the desert. He walks through the desert for a few hours. And at the end of the day, the sun is beginning to set. And he's crawling at this point. He's crawling through the sand, just dragging himself. He drinks some windshield wiper fluid to keep himself going. He knows it might kill him, but he's going to die anyway, so maybe it'll save him. So, he's crawling through the desert. And he looks down, and he suddenly realizes that he's sitting on a stone platform. And he's like, wait a minute. Um, what? So, <laughs> he looks around, he realizes it's a black stone platform in the middle of the desert, just on the ground. It's got strange symbols etched into it. He looks up and there's a stick in the middle of the, bo of the uh, plat platform. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Uh, so he looks up and he sees there's a giant snake on top of the stick coiled around it staring at him. So he s tries to scream, but he it comes out as like, <laughs> you know, he's dehydrated severely. Yeah. He's on death's bed. He like sort of rolls backward and the snake looks at him and says, oh, hello there, Jacob. How can I help you? <laughs> This may actually be a true story, if you ask Jacob. It's likely a true story. It's likely. Jacob says, um, okay, I guess I'm dying now. This is like my dying hallucination. The snake says, no, Jacob, I know who you are, and it's going to be okay. Jacob says, all right, well, who are you? And the snake says, oh, my name is Nate. Nate the snake. So Jacob's like, all right, Nate the snake, can you explain to me where I am and how to get back to anywhere? Nate says, uh, no, I can give you three wishes, though. Uh, Jacob says, okay, if anyone needs a break, let me know. Three wishes, Nick, three, three wishes. I'm longer than the last one. All right. All right, so Jacob says, okay, so you can give me three wishes, huh? Are you some kind of genie? And Nate says, no, I'm actually just an immortal snake from the beginning of time. And J Jacob says, okay, so three wishes, right? So Jacob says, all right, Mr. Genie Snake, uh, I wish that I had some water. Nate says, oh, Jacob, how unimaginative. <laughs> Jacob says, what do you mean? Nate says, well, I mean, you could do something that lasts a little longer. What if I make you a perfect physical specimen who cannot get sick or die of any means besides natural? And Jacob says, uh, I guess, I, I kind of just need water. I'm good without that. <laughs> Nate says, actually, Jacob, the windshield wiper fluid you drank earlier is currently corroding your organs, so you might want to wish for it. So Jacob's like, all right, fine. Goodness gracious. Uh, so instantly he feels reinvigorated and he stands up and he's like, wow, that actually works. Thank you, Nate. Uh, so Nate says, all right, what's your second wish? Jacob thinks for a moment and he says, mm, how about unlimited knowledge? Because it's Jacob. Yeah, yeah so, that's true. So Nate says, are you sure about that, Jacob? What if I give it to you, like you can access unlimited knowledge. You don't have it all in your head, so your head doesn't explode, but you can access it whenever you want. So Jacob says, all right, that's smart. You're a smart snake, 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 thank you. <laughs> snake, 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 yeah. Uh, so as he's about to think of a third wish, he notices that there's a lever next to the pole that Nate is curled upon. He says, is that a lever? And Nate says, don't touch that. Jacob says, why? And Nate says, oh, that's just a lever that will kill all of humanity if you push it. Oh, by the way, now that you've discovered this place, uh, you are responsible for pushing it. No one else can push it but you. So. Jacob says, uh, okay, cool, so I have the fate of humanity. So he says, okay, I won't press it. So Nate says, what is your third wish? And Jacob says, uh, that I can find a way out of here. And Nate says, so unimaginative, Jacob. What about, I can find my way anywhere, whenever I want. And Jacob says, oh, cool, then I can make my way back here in case I ever, you know, need to kill humanity. So Nate's like, all right, cool. Uh, your wish has been granted. Uh, the small town of Vermont. Junior. <laughs> <laughs> that Vermont way. Junior. All right, so Jacob says, all right, well, thanks, Nate. I guess I can just come back here if I ever, you know, want to talk to you again or kill humanity or anything. 
Nate says, yeah, sure. Uh, you might want to check back every once in a while just to check on the lever and make sure everything's okay. And I'm sure you're kind of curious about the whole talking snake thing. Did you so Jacob you makes his way back to Vermont. And uh, all is well. Place. Your favorite place, Vermont Junior. Yeah. We've all been there. Yeah. We've all been Many there. Vacations at Vermont Junior. So uh, he makes his way back to Vermont Junior. And uh, he spends some time back at his house. He's really grateful for what Nate did for him. So he thinks about it a while and he decides, hey, I guess I better go back out into the desert and see what Nate's doing. So it's been a while. It's been a while. Huh? What? Okay. Make sure you better ask all your questions now. You gotta understand everything. For the end of the story. That's the plan. He's an immortal snake. Will he die? Oh my gosh, he's an immortal snake. Can he die? Well, he's not immortal. It's can like, you can just, can just let me clarify? <laughs> he's not. He's not immortal. He can die if killed. He can be killed, but, but not he can't die of old age or anything. Okay. Right, yeah. He can be killed, but he can't okay. die. That's right. All right. So Jacob heads back out into the desert and he visits Nate and he says, "Hey, Nate, what's up?" And Nate says, uh, nothing much. You know, I'm just, I've been out here for literally all the time, so nothing's changed on that count. Uh, so Jacob, Jacob asks him a few more questions about the lever, and Nate is like, uh, you realize you wished for unlimited knowledge, right? So you can, like, figure it out yourself. And Jacob's like, oh yeah, what am I doing? So, they spend a while out in the desert, he talks to Nate, gets to know him a little, the old-fashioned way, instead of just trying to get you hurt. Uh, so, eventually, he's had enough. He says goodbye to Nate, heads back to Vermont Junior, heads back to, heads back to his house, and then he spends a few months there and using his unlimited knowledge to um, cheat the stock markets and stuff like that and gain a lot of financial wealth. So the third time he visits Nate, he notices that something is wrong. But it's quickly overshadowed by the fact that there's another snake with Nate now. And Nate says, Jacob, this is my son, Samuel. And Jacob says, what? And Nate says, yeah, you heard me. And Jacob's like, oh, how'd you, how'd you get a son? And Nate says, it's better not to ask so many questions, Jacob. You can always get it from the ether if you want. So Jacob says, something seems wrong, Nate. He seems sadder. And Nate says, yeah, here's the thing. I'm only immortal. And Nate says, I don't know how long I have, Jacob, but Wait, what's you his son's name? Samuel. 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 No, no, no! The story's almost yeah, over! Out! I don't know. Nobody knows how. Who's that? There's no other snakes. Hey, it's actually a club. Yeah, it's actually... Okay, go! So, 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 uh, uh, I'm getting the names of it. So Nate says, Jacob, I don't want my son to have the same life as me. I don't want him to just sit here on a pole in the desert waiting for weary travelers like I did. For... So Nate says, Jacob, I want you to take my son Samuel around the world and let him just explore before he has to spend the rest of his immortal life here. Well, immortal and totally But... but no, I said I don't need it. I'm okay. Yeah, Semi-immortal. Sure. Alright. Alright. So... Jacob's like, all right, Nate, I guess it's a deal. Basically, you're dying wish. Will I see you again? Are you going to die before we get back? And Nate says, no. I'll try to hold on. So Nate, Nate gives Samuel over to Jacob. Jacob takes Samuel around the world. He shows him the Grand Canyon, Vermont, Senior. <laughs> senior? <laughs> senior. No, that's yeah, that's yeah, that's me neither. Vermont, Junior, Vermont, Senior. Many times. Uh, at the vacation store. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. been to Vermont, Junior, and Vermont, but not Vermont, Junior. No, yeah. Vermont is Vermont, Senior, though. Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, no, Nate knows his stuff. I know, bro. This is the look. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, Jake's taking the Grand Canyon, the Alps, the Philippines, Israel, uh, United States, because it's already there. Uh, China, Canada, Mexico, Panama, California, so <laughs> far, the United States, Zimbabwe, New uh, Zealand, yeah. Australia, Arkansas, 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 in fact, as well. Take what are that? All, 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 all 50 the states. Bahamas. What? Bahamas? Obviously, the Bahamas. I was going to it. Uh, <laughs> Nate had the dimensional travel device. They can do that. They can do that. <laughs> they they went to Dubai as well. So they went all over the world, right? <laughs> The world, the, the, world. <laughs> the world. No, it's the world. The world. Nate no. didn't ask about the other planets. Samuel will do that in the sequel. So. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> so, where was I? Oh, yes. So, Jason gets a text from Nate. Don't ask about it. 
So, Nate says, great news, Jacob. I can still be killed by conventional means, but it looks like I'm actually not dying of old age. Something weird has happened, and I feel stronger than I ever have before. So Jacob says, wow, that's great news. I'll bring Samuel back right away. So, he gets in an RV that he's rented with all his money that he got. Oh, God, time out. Wait a minute. What is that? It's Samuel. It's Jacob in the spirit with us. Okay, continue. So we're at the climax of the story. Okay. The fire is getting excited. Yeah, the, yeah, the fire is loving the story. This is, this is the big, the big um, climax. Hey, everyone, hey, this is the climax. Everyone has to be quiet. Shut up. We're at the Shut up. Shut up. We're at the climax. All right. So he gets in his RV that he illegitimately purchased. They bring Samuel. Samuel's in the passenger seat reading a book. Don't ask about that either. Uh, so they're driving through the desert. And... Uh, Jacob's trying to show off sort of his driving skills to Samuel. He's like, hey, Samuel, look at this. I can, like, oh, sort wow. of shoot over the top of the sand dune, you know? Like, <laughs> look at this. So he starts going over the top of the sand dune. He sees a black circle on the other side where Nate is perched in the middle. And he's sliding down the sand dune, and he loses control. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's 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 I see you doing that. Hey! This is the climax. This is the climax. So he's sliding down a hill out of control at top speed, and he suddenly realizes that he's heading straight for the lever that will kill all of humanity. If the RV hits it, it will kill everyone on the planet. Can you pull it back and reverse it? Wait, does it kill him? Because he's sliding out of control. What? Does it kill Jacob? wrote the story. Wait, 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 how come he can't turn to the right? <laughs> <laughs> because the way the RV is tilted, oh, it's 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 it, he okay. if he turned it that way, he would just drift through both of them. Okay. So he so he's through both of them. Yeah, because it would be all in Top by seeing the lure. All right, here's the lure. All right, listen closely. Do not interrupt this part. All right. So, he's sliding toward the lever, and he looks at Samuel. He says, I'm sorry, Samuel. Better name from Lover. Get out! No. We're having a story time! What is it? What is it? I might do it! 